welcome to the programme. First, for thousands of students across the region, it's been an intense morning of emotions as they've been getting their A-level, T-level and B-Tech results. Getting the grades to go on to further training or to study is more competitive this year as marking has gone back to pre-COVID rules. But the key advice for those that didn't get the grades they need is not to worry as there's plenty of help on hand. Well, uh, Joe Makel has been at White College in Hull and sent us this report. She's agreed to open her T-level results while we're filming. Olivia's slightly nervous. She has no idea what she's got. I got a merit overall, so that's really good. That's what I wanted. <laughs> she already has a job offer, a degree apprenticeship in nursing. I do one day a week at Hull Uni and I do four days a week in a full-time job. So I'm going into a surgery ward um, at Castle Hill. I learn a lot better, like, hands-on on the job sort of thing. I'm a lot better at doing, like, it practically. So that's why I thought, like, a degree apprenticeship would be the route for me to go down. I'm really chuffed to bits of her. She's worked really hard. And uh, after having COVID and everything, it's really nice to see them going on to the NHS as well. T-levels are fairly new. They offer work placements as well as academic study. For Alicia, it helped her focus her university course. On my placements, I got to be able to work within the mental health team, and I just, I just loved that more, and I really enjoyed that. So that's the, um, where the path I wanted to take instead. Many students here at Wyke College still sit traditional A levels. Ethan is now heading to Brighton to do medicine. It has been so stressful, two years, and it's just all come to this, and I'm so pleased that it's all finally got there. Um, it has been a roller coaster of emotions. It is for most the first time they've sat formal exams. Their GCSEs were cancelled by COVID, and this year exam boards aren't making as many allowances. It's been really tough. The impact of the pandemic, both kind of meant they didn't get as much education as they would have done uh, in, a, in a normal kind of lifespan. Um, but also really impacted on their social lives, which, you know, as a teenager is such a key part of what it's all about. For those that are happy with their results today, they still face some important decisions. The first one being which pub to go and celebrate in. Joe Makel, BBC Look North, Hull. Decisions, decisions.